we need to get serious for a minute, okay? We have something really serious to talk about. We need to talk about Anna Paul and Glenn. They have broken up and I'm gutted. Hi vlog, it's Decca. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We're just gonna have a little casual day, okay? You and me, because I'm alone. Am I feeling lonely? Maybe. Do I wanna share this moment with you? Absolutely yes. How was my day? <laughs> Thank you for asking. Well, as you can see, I did an audition today for, you know, a little well-known brand. <sighs> you know, did a little bit of this action. <sighs> anyway, since I've already filled my body with not the most nutritious, but rather delicious juice, I'm going to go do something that I don't usually do. And maybe you can tell by the title of this video, but I'm craving McDonald's, okay? I'll just say it. I'm craving McDonald's. I'm on my period. I feel like I've been telling too many people that I'm PMSing, like I've been saying it too much, and now I'm saying it here, okay? It's TMI, but this cycle has been wrecking me. I have been energy levels in the gutter, and I am craving McDonald's, and I want it. So let's go get it. Here we go. Fit check. I broke my other glasses, so we're wearing these. I don't even like them, but they'll have to do. Let's get out of here. I miss the days of like watching Emma Chamberlain just in her car riding around Los Angeles, trying every coffee shop in LA. Was this angle like really bad? Is this angle like watchable? But I don't want to go to jail for vlogging and driving. You know what I mean? Here we go. Ooh. Today I went for a walk and like to get that Coke Zero, I went for a walk and a LAPD cop, well, an LAPD cop on a motorcycle waved at me. He was like, and I was like, hi? I don't know, it felt weird. Okay, okay, cinema. Okay, cinema, cinematic. I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying things, you know what I mean? I'm just shooting in the dark, okay? I woke up at 12.30 today, 12.30 p.m. And I hate myself for it. No, just kidding. I really love myself so much more than ever. And it's a really good feeling, you know? I just, I'm, I fuck with me. I like me. I love me. I accept me. Yellow light. Yellow light means speed up. Yeah, so my thing with McDonald's, the thing about McDonald's is, God bless my mother. She did not raise me eating McDonald's. So I actually don't even think about eating McDonald's very often. I actually usually have no appetite for McDonald's. And when I think about eating fast food, I think about having an itchy butthole and then I stop myself from going to get the fast food. So let's hope that this McDonald's does not give me an itchy butthole. Like be so for real. Does your butthole itch right now? That's not nothing, okay? That's called pinworms. And you get pinworms from eating really nasty, contaminated fast food nine out of 10 times. So if you are eating fast food and your butt is itching, just know it ain't right. It ain't right. There is a cause and effect going on there and you can stop the process, okay? I'm just really craving McDonald's. So now we're on the way to McDonald's. This is what I was listening to. Do, do, do. Open my mouth, I'm talking. Save my count, can't count this. This look counterfeit. If I wear it, it's prices can't count the fit. And it's right now, I just made the hard shit I ever heard right now. Look where I wasn't where I'm at right now. I got the car keys in the car heart. I don't even got push in the car start. I got the icy like a pot tart and I stay staying fire like, like a Charizard. Why is everybody singing like they do a leap of? Yeah. 
SOS. Somebody rescue me. I got too many, got too many, many. Got what? They got lost me the next two weeks. I made it to McDonald's and I kid you not, the line is so long that I'm just hoping and praying and wishing that I literally do not get hit because my car is sticking out into the road. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least 10 cars in front of me. It's dinner time, baby. And everybody's at McDonald's. This is probably the worst food in LA and yet there are 12 people in line for McDonald's. I'm risking getting rear-ended right now. Go! Risking it all for the worst food in Los Angeles. This is kind of my activity for the day. You know, this is, this is what got me out the house today. I didn't even leave my apartment yesterday, which is not okay. But that just lets you know I was down bad. You know you're down bad when you don't leave your home all day and you're no longer on quarantine lockdown come on come on you know i miss the days of seeing the vloggers oh that guy must have been doing like a doordash pickup situation you know i considered that too like just postmating this food but i don't even use postmates like that and i know that i would probably end up overpaying and like that's another part of Wait, I have ADHD so bad, I literally was saying something and then I just completely started to go down three other tangents. I miss the days of when the vloggers were really vlogging because they were getting the bag, they were selling the merch, they were making millions, they were getting millions of views. Like, doesn't YouTube want that again for itself? Like, don't the people working at YouTube want another golden era of YouTube? YouTube, if you're listening, let's make it happen. Let's make some things shake, okay? I miss those days. Like, Emma Cham like I said, Emma Chamberlain being in her car, you know, Trisha Paytas eating in her car before she was, like, insanely problematic. Who else? Oh, my God. I used to, like, literally drive down Melrose and see Jake Paul with his giant camera, like, filming himself. And that was before he was a billionaire. That was when he was just saying he was going to be a billionaire. I'm leaning into filming in public with my vlog camera. It's Los Angeles. Nobody actually cares. But if this is all that is between me and my dream life, and this is the dream life. This is what I've been dreaming of doing is just s living life, vlogging, and paying bills. You know, just living life vlogging, so. Oh no, the lobby is closed. Wait, how did the other guy get in there? Oh, maybe the other guy didn't even go inside. Okay, wait, you guys need to see this. This is actually interesting. It says, lobby will be closed starting Monday, August 14th due to construction. drive through will still remain open for business. Okay, well, I'm about four cars from ordering so I should probably turn my camera off because lord knows the battery sucks I love this car by the way I love my little fuzzy shoulder pad I love my fuzzy what is this called I love my fuzzy steering wheel cover and my sunroof and you know I need to pay this car off I have a full disclosure $19,000 auto loan that needs to be paid off. So YouTube, let's make it happen. Let's make some shake, okay? I want to be a part of the next golden era of YouTube. I can feel it. It's coming. The writers are on strike. The recession is looming. Life is good. <laughs> I'm eating McDonald's for like the first time. When was the last time I had McDonald's? It's been months. I go months and months and months without eating McDonald's, which it just goes to show your parents, whatever they do with you when you're younger really does have such a big impact on you. Because like I said, I literally don't even ever think to eat McDonald's, but I'm about to mess up a 10 piece nugget fry. I need barbecue sauce. I need water because I already drank a Coke today, which is out of the ordinary. And if I drink another soda, I'm going to spontaneously combust so i'm gonna go for a, a nice water there are at least another eight cars behind me so you know 
you know, that's good. McDonald's is, McDonald's is thriving, even in Los Angeles. Of all the choices, of all the places that you could go eat in LA, and we're all here at McDonald's, is just so ironic because LA has amazing food. Don't let anybody lie to you and tell you otherwise. LA has the best Indian food, the best Mexican food, the best fusion, anything French and Indian fusion. It's bomb in LA. This place called Badmash. I love Badmash. It's like Indian French fusion. It's so good. Thai food, Korean barbecue, like the list goes on. There is incredible food at, in LA, but it's dinner time and there's a line at McDonald's and I'm here for it. And this family of like five is sitting in front of me. They're also here for it. And you know what? I'm, I do have one thing to say though about McDonald's. McDonald's, if you're listening, bring the price down. Inflation ain't that serious. Bring the price down. McDonald's should not be more than $10 a meal. And I know I'm about to pay more than $10 for these chicken nuggets. And we know that that is not, that is, that is not valid, okay? I need some transparency. How much does it cost to make the nuggets, McDonald's, hmm? Two cents? And I'm about to pay what? Okay, I think the family of five is almost done ordering. It's fine. I don't have a problem. I have patience. But hurry up. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. They just ordered the whole menu. Hi. Hey. Can I get a number five? Uh, large with a uh, water and barbecue sauce. All right. Daniel. No, that's it. All right. Your is going to come out to eleven forty-nine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And that is why I will never be having kids. <laughs> it's just too easy <laughs> to be by yourself. <laughs> And the total is only $11. Okay, I'm gonna protect this guy's privacy and not film him. Let's go. No, they did not already get their food. Are you serious? That was so fast. Wait, they got their food faster than it took to order it. And there's like seven people in the car. I know they just spent like $50 at least, which is crazy. Okay, what is this guy doing? We got a, we got a rogue person. Ooh. Oh damn, it's about to go down. He, the guy, the rogue guy, who is just walking up to the window, which you know you're not supposed to do, he was saying he has a mobile order. I think he has a mobile order for pickup and the inside lobby is totally closed down. So like, what's he supposed to do? And they just literally were like, like they didn't help him. He just walked away. Do better McDonald's. Do better McDonald's. It's my turn. Me so excited. Hi. Take it, Dasani. <laughs> okay, now the question is where am I gonna eat this? Because it's only right that I eat it in my car, obviously. Oh, I should go that way, hold on. I'm gonna stay at the McDonald's. Beep, 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 beep. Over 99 billion served. Okay, what would we do without our backup cameras? Uh, love a backup camera. So, I'm so excited. Mmm. I know that's right. A 
Okay. So, we need to get serious for a minute. Okay. We have something really serious to talk about. Wow, everything looks so much uglier through my own eyes. These glasses, like, make everything look nice and golden. You know what I mean? But, okay, no, this is serious. While I eat my McDonald's in my car as an ode to 2015 YouTube. We need to talk about Anna Paul and Glenn. They have broken up and I'm gutted, honestly. Like, wait a second. Not McDonald's getting all like off white on us. That's a very off-white thing to do. Like, Virgil Abloh off-white, the McDonald's bag. As featured in Space Jam, Fallen Angels, UB Illin, The Office, Coming to America, Seinfeld, Brief Answers to the Big Questions by Stephen Hawking, Como Cuando y Dande by Aquid, Chuck Day, India, The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift, and Lokai Season 2. Not McDonald's being like, yeah, we're iconic, we know. And so, and Glenn and Anna are also iconic, and I am gutted over their breakup, y'all. Like, I know parasocial relationships are not very, whatever, parasocial relationships are great, okay? I've had many, and I have felt like I couldn't even help myself. Like, I have, I watch people online, and I feel like I know them, and obviously I know that I don't. And, like, I've been in places where, like, I see the person that I've been watching. Okay, for example, I went to a concert, an ASAP Rocky concert. I actually posted a video about that on my page. I went to an ASAP Rocky concert, and Mike Malak and Jeff Wittick were standing right next to me. And I was low-key freaking out, but, like, I chickened out and didn't say anything to them. And, like, I wish I would have, because I would have been, like you guys need a black girl friend put me on what's up put me in coach anyway regrets damn that's really good mm. so yeah anna and glenn broke up and if you don't know who i'm talking about what's wrong with you they've been together for eight years since they were 15 they're like 23 and 24 now and they're on TikTok and they used to like travel the world together, travel Europe together. And I love their vlogs so much. And I love Glenn, like I love Glenn's presence in Anna's vlogs so much. And I have been watching her videos for like at least a year. When I open TikTok, all I want to see is Anna Paul and Victoria Paris. And judge me as you please based on that. But I like Victoria Paris because she's from North Carolina and I'm from North Carolina and I like Anna Paul because she's the, I don't know, the most likable person on the planet. And so when her and her family said they were going on this trip, this like six week, you know, Euro trip without Glenn, I knew something was up. We all did. Because they do everything together. And that's probably... I don't want to speculate, but that's probably part of the problem. Like, being together from that young of an age and then doing everything together for eight years, I imagine it would be hard to, like, feel independent and feel like you have your own agency and, like, they probably need to just, like, be apart from each other to, you know, like, become adults and yada, 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 whatever. I shouldn't speculate, but... I'm gutted. Like, I was watching those videos about the breakup, like, her announcing the breakup, wanting to cry. Like, literally fighting back tears. And I was like, oh my god, what is wrong with me? But I don't think I was alone in that. Because that video got, like, 30 million views and everybody is just, like, gutted by it. And then she would, like, post with him and he moved out of her place and... Ugh... It was really sad. But, like, I'm happy for them that, like, it seems like a very healthy breakup. It's not, like, toxic, messy, vindictive, or any of those, like, awful things. They seem like they're going really mature about it. 
and who knows maybe they end up together one day but I think right now like they both probably just need to have like a hoe phase you know you need a hoe phase <laughs> that's also why I like Victoria Paris because she talks about her her <laughs> she talks about her hoe phase like her body count is like in the double digits like the high double digits I just think that's hilarious that she like openly talks about that I'm a Taurus, like T-A-U-R-U-S. I love food, but I am a slow eater. I'm a slow eater because I savor every bite. Like I love every bite. And so I don't eat very fast because I'm literally savoring every single bite. I have a brother. And growing up, he would eat really fast and it just made me want to be the opposite. And so I eat really slow. I'm like, it's not a problem, but there's no way I can sit here and finish this meal because I'm going to be here for like an hour if I do that. <clears throat> so I'm going to go home and finish my meal at home, but this has been really fun. Oh, I need to um, take a thumbnail. I feel like I should be crying. Like. <laughs> oh, what is life? What is life but a game, but a joke? I love the I love the variety of vehicles at this McDonald's. You know, McDonald's really brings the American people together. And I love that Anna Paul loves McDonald's so much and she makes me want to travel to Europe just to eat McDonald's. I did eat McDonald's in Japan. And it was not the same. Like McDonald's in America just hits different because, you know, we allow all the chemicals and deliciousness into our food. So it is what it is. And I found myself craving those kinds of flavors, you know, chemical flavors when I was eating the McDonald's in Japan. So, you know, people are coming up to this McDonald's and getting so mad that the lobby is closed. So I'm going to take that as a sign to leave before somebody hangrily freaks out on these people. This cart in front of me has ears of a cat and the tail of a cat coming out of their trunk and I think that's hilarious and I want to show you real quick. Cats like high key rule the world. You see it? Funny. <clears throat> I gotta get out of this parking lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you are also gutted over Anna Paul and Glenn's breakup, but you know, we're happy for them. <sighs> we're sad for them. It is what it is. It's not our relationship. We know this, whatever. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe and I'll be back with more videos soon. Bye.